Hey guys, Chili Beast here, and today I do. Uh, uh, today, I'm doing another pepper review for Refining Fire Chilies. This is the Ghostly Jalapeno. This is a. This is the very popular ghost pepper, crossed with your standard jalapeno. And as you can see from this picture, it has a very strong ghost pepper look. Really cool. Wrinkled up, crinkled up ghost pepper. <clears throat> Fairly good size. I'm going to take a quick picture of this. I'm not really going to bother to open this up because it's kind of hard to slice this in half. So here we go. Okay, so here we go. My predictions, just from the look of this, is that this is gonna have a strong ghost pepper flavor, and the heat will be somewhere near the ghost pepper range, because this does not look anything like a jalapeno. But then again, the ghost pepper doesn't have that kind of crinkled up look like this, so. Okay, here we go. Oh wow. Okay, so it's ghost pepper flavor and much sweeter. Much sweeter. Okay, it has that kind of tangy goose pepper flavor. It's like a floral kind of fruitiness. And, but it's much sweeter, which must be the, the jalapeno <clears throat> influence. Heat is definitely up there. Obviously, this is definitely the way it burns. So far, it feels like a ghost pepper, stinging, roof of the mouth, gums, roof of the mouth, basically a stinging burn. Nothing in the throat. Everything is all roof of the mouth, gums. <clears throat> I'd say heat is probably it hasn't changed much. I would say it's like a ghost pepper, maybe a little bit less. But much sweeter, much better tasting than your average ghost pepper. Much better, much better tasting. 
So if you're looking to grow that for that look, or if you want that particular sweeter ghost pepper flavor, contact Jim Duffy at Refining Fire Chilies. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on the next pepper review.